Best Bites Forever. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to Best Bites Forever. In this video, I'm going to show you how I colored those fondant shells that I made a few videos back, so let's rock it out. Here I have some of the Wilton gel coloring. The first one that I had was pink, the second one is brown, and the third one is going to be burgundy. Of course, you can use whatever colors that you want for your little shells. My two main ones are going to be pink and the other is going to be brown. What I did is I mixed up each one with water. I'll just give you a little demo of that really quickly. You take a toothpick, get a little bit of the gel on your toothpick, and then just kind of swirl it around in the water. I don't worry too much about the little chunkies that are in there because they actually kind of make it like an uneven tone on the shells which makes it more realistic looking to me. So here are the shells that I'm about to show you how to do. Isn't it cute? Like I think it looks pretty real. It's like a little whatever creature lives in there. I was going to say a conch shell but I don't think that's what it is. Anyway I started off with my pink and I just used my paintbrush to kind of go inside where the little creature would live but I did leave a little bit of white on the outside of it. Again I have a pile of shells in front of me so I'm looking at real shells and trying to get mine to look as real as possible. So put your little paintbrush inside of the shells where the creature lives. That's where the pink is going to go. Let that dry for a couple of hours before you move on to your next color. In my case it's going to be brown. I mixed it. Well I already showed you how I mixed it so... I found that when I painted these it looked better if I kind of did the corners first and I think that it kind of gave it a nicer like shadowing on them and by the way that is the cake that we are working on right there so just to give you a little preview I'm going to be doing a few more videos to finish it up so here I am doing my little corners and then I've just added a little bit of water into my dye so that it kind of thins it out a little bit and lightens the color for the rest of the shell and then I'm just going to kind of pull the color down with the watered down color. This is what it's looking like. By the way, you may notice that I have a glove on one hand. That's because I don't want to have a brown hand for the next two days. And I also have my foam tray underneath. That's what my little shells are going to dry on because they won't stick to it since it's foam. So you can use, you know, like the foam disposable paper plates or whatever. Those are perfect for this project. This little guy was painted with burgundy and I think he's looking really lovely right there. And this guy also. So so all that I have left now is my little white shells and obviously I don't want to add any color to them but I do want to give them a nice little shine so oh that's my last little guy that I forgot and he's my favorite but anyway moving on here are my little white guys and Again, I'm not going to add any color, but I do want them to be nice and shiny, so I'm just going to use a little bit of water on my paintbrush. By the way, a really good tip here is to make sure that you're using a really high quality paintbrush because you don't want to be fighting with little bristles falling onto your little decorations. Nobody wants to eat paint bristles. So I'm going to go ahead, let these dry for 24 hours before I use them on my cake, and that's it. So easy, I know. Hey, if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do so now. If you are already a subscriber, Thank you so much for being a subscriber. You're awesome. And I will see you guys in the next video. Happy cooking, everyone. Best bite for ever.com.